What's good, homie? You want to talk? Let's talk. <laughs> Yo, it's truly here, Carcino. And I want to thank those who definitely hit up my cash app, which is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O. Um, I know it's a tough time for people, so those who did hit me up, I definitely appreciate it. You know, a lot of things have been going left or right. We don't know what's happening as far as people getting paid and what's happening. We Everything is like an influx of things we have never experienced before. So I appreciate that. And those who definitely went to the stream lab like JBiz and still hitting up the stream lab in the description box, I appreciate that too. And every form you guys have went through, those who signed up for the Patreon, there are so many to name now. I can't even name all of you. Thank you guys very much. And I will do a live chat for the Patreons today. So it will be exclusively for all the Patreons. You guys get a live chat where you get a Q&A with me. So that will be cool. Now let's talk about something y'all finna get here for free. <laughs> Jay Electronica. Him and Joe Budden. All the beef going back and forth. Oh, who's who's going? Man, let me tell you right now. So y'all never, ever have to worry about this again. Okay? Joe Button and Jay Electronica are friends. And have been friends for a very long time. Hey. Jay, can you tell us why you came to this Joe Button show tonight? Now, that lets you know right there how close they are. They've recorded songs together that have never come out. <laughs> and this is right before the Slaughterhouse thing. So they've always been knowing each other, always been respectful of each other's work. So when you see things that were happening, when Joe was making all these statements, talking about you got dogged out on your own CD, and they going back and forth like, don't worry, I'm going to come on your show. All of this is propaganda, people, to promote J Electronica. The same thing about Peter Fake Outrage Rosenberg. Okay? This is playing off of your ignorance. Because they say, why try to reach these people? They don't care about nothing. Why am I trying to reach them for? They don't care. So why should I waste my time trying to reach people when they're not listening? So we got to relate to what they know. And what do they know? Huh? What do the people know? They know one thing. Beef. Conflict, drama, that's what they're looking for. They go, ooh, such and such over there beefing with him. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, it said he dissed him on his song. Let's see. That's what they're using. They're playing the world's smallest violin 
and playing it so you can hear that little note so that you can tune in because all they care about is your viewership that's what they want they want your viewership they don't want your friendship they don't want your trust they want your trust fun <laughs> So, in case you haven't figured it out, this is it. This is the layout. So that whole little Twitter beef that you're talking about, that is going on, it's fake. And I'm going to tell you why it's fake. Because the Joe Budden podcast numbers have dropped. Yep, you're hearing it here first. And it's not because the content is bad. A lot of people say, oh, they don't have the content. They didn't fell off. They ain't like it used to be. Because people that were listening were only listening for the drama. When he had drama with Eminem, that episode, the complex thing, Joe finna go in on complex so whenever Joe goes on a rant the numbers are gonna go through the roof because that's gonna bring in the idiots the people who are not fans of content the people who don't care about the shows where you could actually get information from that could actually benefit you all the key things that's there they've had good shows they've had really good shows but the only problem is you guys who only focus on if there's somebody getting their head busted or somebody want to go bust another guy's head. So the idiots, you are the reason for that. Okay? So the numbers are only dropping because the idiots are not interested. They only want to listen to something else. So the people who are at Spotify and those people... They're looking at numbers, and they don't care about who does what. They're looking like, we need something to spice some things up. So let's create a fake drama with somebody who's a friend of Joe Button. And this is where, you know, Hollywood Joe comes in at. And now he's going to play this love and hip-hop game where they draw him up the numbers to get the, in his word, the fuckity fuck niggas back into the game get them back interested so you're gonna get the less content and more foolery because everybody will report on the foolery everybody loves the report on foolery see me i'm someone who's not really up for the food. Anybody know me, they know one thing. I don't really care for it. It doesn't do anything for me. So what do I do? The person that don't care for that. What does he do? What is his motivation? Well, my motivation is clear. Make money. It's always been my motivation, but it also is to educate. If... Like, I don't even have to do one crack news. I don't have to put out one crack news. I don't have to tell you about all the things and the great accomplishments other people have made. I made another channel dedicated just to give you that information. To give you information that's going to help you out in life. Why did I do that? Oh, so I could double my money? No. You don't make any real money doing that. There's no promotion into that. I did it because that's me. That's me. That's who I am. 
I don't go with the, you know, status quo. I give people the truth. Now they can either love it, like it, or not. And definitely don't want to sit around here and talk about just nonsense 24 hours a day. Bad Barbie says she's going to hit this girl with a bottle. No, it's not going to be me. I'll leave that for the people who love that kind of stuff and just don't care. Guys who you guys promote, like that academics guy. You guys will load up, run over there, and go see what he got to say. And they'll back a guy like him. Oh, they came waving those deals in front of me. Major media corporations, five years ago, tried to pick up your boy. Because I had so much traction with all of my truth behind hip-hop beats. And the more they saw, the more they were amazed. And they said, you know what? We'll get you a deal. We'll put you here. We've got to clean that. We need you to just do that all over again. So that way you clean up that audio and you can come out and we'll do production. We'll have someone who make the videos and put the photos there. We'll have some music behind it. They had a whole rollout plan for your boy. All I had to do was play ball. And if I'd have played ball, you would have never heard of no damn academic. He'd be somewhere right now in a gaming chair talking about, ooh, this Final Fantasy VII, ooh, it's hot. He would not have existed. If I'd have just took the route that they waved in front of me. So you got to understand, I was averaging hundreds of thousands of views per video. I'm someone who has 100 million views already. I was being punished for not doing what they wanted me to do. I said, I'm cool. I'll stay in my spot. Rather than go and be a pawn of the industry or be a puppet or a academics. I don't want to be that. So because I don't want to go that route and be a phony clown, you know, this is the level that I'm probably not going to ex expand from. This is as far as you're going to go here. Okay, cool. I'll make money in other areas. But I'm not going to give up my integrity. And this is what other people can't do. They want to make you feel like you're subservient to them and them only. Once you have another avenue, once you have another outlet, once you have another situation, now you have power. You don't have to be a slave to the dollar. They can't control you. They don't own you. You own the night. You own the situation. You control it as you see fit. That's where we are right now. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification button. Thank you guys. Oh, see that button? <laughs> yeah, you don't get it. But anyway, <laughs> hit that notification button, select all. Hopefully you get your notifications. They've been doing a little bit better with notifications. I did a little bit now. Now, uh, everyone else, thank you guys, man, for all the love and support. Like I said, those who are on the Patreon, you're going to get a live stream today from me. So I get to address all your questions over there, and we'll get to it. All right. Deuces.